Her memories flashed before my eyes, and I lived her life. Lucille was a young village woman from a small country town in France. She was charismatic, intelligent, and lovely. She carried a soft smile and emerald eyes. She was the brightest person in town, yet kept to herself. Stop staring! You know you shouldn't be interested in bookstores. You're lucky Lord Elliot is kind to an infected mind. He's kind because he wants me to be his wife. You should be thankful the Lord wants you to be his wife. <sighs> Bonjour, ladies. Lucille. Bonjour, Lord Elliot. Out! You know, Lucille, I've grown quite fond of you. The red hair of yours is quite enchanting. I see. It's all I think about when I'm feeling lonely. Ugh. How dare you respond with disrespectful actions! Wear your headscarf today, witch! Don't expose your demonic hair around my guests! You'll entrance him with your witchcraft like you do to me. <sighs> What's wrong with her? Any woman would be fortunate to be with a wealthy, strong man like me. Evening. Bonsoir, Lord Kevin. That American man is quite a fellow, isn't he, Lucille? He was. I've been wondering, who are those women over there? Those are but my humble servants. Now, it's 1,000 American dollars for all the land west of here. That includes the city of- Can I also buy the servants? My servants are very special to me. You can buy one. But, I do assure you, none of them would want to leave. That was my chance. I guess it's settled then. I'll take her. <sighs> Mark my words, you will regret this day, Lucio. Those other women are delusional. Anything's better than that Lord Elliot. <sighs> I didn't buy you so you could be my servant. I bought you so you could escape. You're free now. Go and do what you always wanted. I'm speechless. Unfortunately, I have no family or home. He bought me as an orphan. I don't have anywhere to go. Although I can't stay here, I'll visit you weekly. You're free to leave anytime. Kevin, I've missed you. Here are some more books to entertain. We spoke until daybreak. I truly appreciate our friendship, Lucy. You're the most intelligent woman I've ever met. Thank you. Kevin is back already? I hope he likes this dress. Lucille! She's still alive. Can't lose my close friend. I regret everything. I was selfish. I just couldn't see you in like that. I'm forever grateful. I've been alive for many, many years now because of you. Kevin, I don't see you as a friend. I never have. I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. I don't love you that way, Lucille. I figured you'd say that. But I don't care. I won't stop fighting for you. 
You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Lucille broke down in tears. She was emotionally drained. All those years, I've never stopped loving him. You two have been through so much together, yet you still managed to face me with a gentle heart. Thank you, Lucille. I'm sorry I just broke down. It's nice of you to try and understand. Honestly, I'm happy Kevin found someone. I was afraid he'd never love. How about Amelia? Her past is a bit more complicated. It's not my business to tell. I understand. You know, I didn't have the strength to face you. But we do have classes together. It's okay, Lucille. I completely understand. Her and I spoke all night. Well, Friday's party was not what I expected, but I was super excited to begin the new week. Hey. Hello? My name's Nicholas. Sorry, you're probably confused. You see, I was at the party. Oh, I see. I'm new here. I just transferred. Well, welcome to our school. It's hard to transfer into here. You transferred into the most prestigious school ever. You're right. It's really great here. Mostly because a beautiful girl like you is here. Thanks. So, what do you think of me? I'm not too sure yet. I barely know you. Get to know me. I gotta go. Class is starting. Bye. Phew. Saved by the bell. Playing hard to get, huh? Makes me want to even more. <laughs> that girl with the blonde hair. I believe that's Kevin's girl. I better stay away from her. Kevin may have a soft spot for those kinds of things. I'm so glad we have study hall today. I needed to catch up with some studying. You've beat my own test scores. I'm top three. I'm sure you don't need catching up. Oh, that's right. You must be hungry. Yes, I haven't eaten in a week. I just don't want to hurt an innocent person. You're lucky we vampires don't need to eat much. Once a month is fine. But Polly, you don't have to hurt anyone. We're not primitive, you know. Here, eat this. Thank you! I could actually gulp down some food. That's a first. Now I'm super full. What was it? Well, it's pretty much infused with animal blood. <gasps> it's not as satisfying as human blood, but it does get the job done. That's all we need. Why are you being so nice to her, Lucille? After all you've been through? Don't you care about Kevin? Not this again. Kevin chooses who he pleases, Amelia. He chose me! Come at me, if you have the guts. You're not worth it, Amelia. Good on you, Pauline. At least some of us have matured. Oh, get off your high horse, Lucille. You probably hate her as much as I do. I did. You're right. But she's really nice, Amelia. If you would just get to know her for a second, all you do is scream. First you steal Kevin, then you steal my two best friends. I hate you. You two! Detention! My first time in detention. Ugh, Amelia's awful. You've brainwashed my other friends into liking you. Ugh. I'm not worth it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Was she crying? Amelia? Leave me alone! Just leave me alone. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Amelia. <sighs> Don't say sorry. No, I really am the bad guy. You're not the bad guy. You're just in a difficult position. Ew, stop. You're way too nice. I think I hate you even more. But... I guess I'm sorry too. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I still don't like you. Oh hey! Fancy seeing you here. Whoa! That aura's powerful. What are you doing here? 
Isn't it like your first day of school? Yeah, yeah. Caught skipping, whatever. The staff's lame here. Who, Who skips, skips class, class on their, their first day? day? So, why are you here? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Let me guess. Fighting over a pure blood's love? Instead, you should be with me, Pauline. I don't- What do you say? Let's get out of here right now. Just you and me. No, thank you. What's the matter? I don't bite on the first day, sweetie. Let me get something straight. I'm all ears, baby. There will never be a first date with you. The way you treat women is disgusting. She did not, not just, just reject, reject me. me. Now I'm really ticked off. I'll get her straight one way or another. That night, I had a visitor. Maybe sharing my memories will make her more sympathetic towards me. That should do it. Dream well, Pauline. What the? Who's that? <laughs>